okay? So that brings me in to number four. We get gripped up, we feel nice and secure, we feel safe, and then we try and attack. And especially if we're compounded by maybe attacking the wrong leg, too much distance, not quite, quite the right grip, this next bit is really bad, okay? And maybe when you're thinking about your, your each matters and your mistakes, start in the order that I started in, okay? So this one is about your lapel hand here. Uh, you've got grip, your opponent's got grip, but actually they're on the end of your sleeve, okay? They're keeping that tension down, they're pulling. So when I want to turn, I can't drive this arm up, okay? I'm here like this and I'm wanting to lift, to drive, to pull, but my partner's just hanging down on this sleeve. And when I'm in here and they're hanging down, yeah, it, you leave your shoulder behind, okay? So I'm here, I'm trying to drive up, trying to get that lift, it doesn't work. So what I need to do is I start to need to create some movement within my, with my lapel hand, okay? And it can be by pushing them back, it can be out and in. If you're linking your Uchimata up with something like Kouchi, that would work quite well. If I'm here, you think with Kouchi Gari, we link our elbows together. I change my direction and I come across. So if I'm in here, yeah, here. And by creating that action, in, out, in, out, I'm gonna create that transfer of balance that I need to be able to manipulate my partner for the throw. What I don't wanna do though, is when I'm here, is throw my shoulder down, shoulder up, because what I'll do is I'll start to manipulate my own balance, okay? If I, if I do that too much, I'm gonna get thrown. So from here, when I'm moving, yeah, here. When I'm on this side as well, a little opening here, so something for his agreement, sat side, that will bring my partner to step round. So number four, don't keep this still. We need to keep this active to be able to, to get my partner moving for the technique. 